morning and jai hind in today's video i am going to start a new topic rectification of errors when the business transactions are recorded in the books of accounts there remain a possibility of accounting errors it may be because of hastiness in writing negligence oversight or incomplete knowledge of the principles of accounting sometimes in order to manipulate the books of accounts errors are committed intentionally so what we have understood till now that when the transactions are recorded in the books of accounting then few errors may be committed by chance or it may be intentionally so to correct these errors the required steps to be taken will be discussed further now let us read irrespective of whether the accounting errors are committed innocently or intentionally they cannot be rectified by erasing with the help of eraser necessary accounting effects are to be given in accounts in order to rectify these errors sometimes in an error affair error affects two accounts in order to rectify the same a journal entry is passed which is known as rectification entry and it is recorded in journal proper generally two principles should be taken into consideration to rectify the accounting errors and do what is wrong and do what is correct so i have told you that various errors may occur while recording the transactions and for correcting that there is uh, that means we can't erase to that error by just uh, putting a raise over there but we have to uh, write the various other entries to correct those errors those entries which are made for correction is known as the rectification entries broadly there are two types of accounting errors which occur the error which do not affect the trial balance and the second one is error which affects the trial balance so the errors which do not affect the trial balance are like errors of omission errors of principle errors of recording to a wrong account errors committed at the time of recording in primary book or we may say error of commission and the last one is compensatory errors let us see the errors which affect the trial balance errors regarding posting errors regarding balance of an account errors in totaling the subsidiary books errors committed at the time of preparing the trial balance